Today we're talking about this guy, the Sony a7 IV, and in particular, a feature on this camera that, while not a lot of people are talking about it, it has the potential to be a game changer for an entire community of people. Hey guys, my name is Sam. This is The Blind Life. If you're new to this channel, I make videos about living life with vision loss and videos about assistive technology that can help us live our best blind lives. So if that kind of content sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you'll be alerted every time I put out a new video. All right, so let's talk about the Sony a7 IV or the Alpha 7 Mark IV, whatever you wanna call it. Since its release last December, it's very quickly becoming one of the best cameras on the market right now. It is full of amazing features, some features that you can't find anywhere else on any other camera, and one of those features is what we're talking about today. So the feature that I'm actually talking about is the new built-in screen reader. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a screen reader is, you've never been to my channel before, uh, maybe you don't know anything about the BVI community, the blind visually impaired community. A screen reader is just what it says. It's a program that reads the digital text out loud to the user. You may be more familiar with the term text to speech, basically the same thing. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent, a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. But whereas something that you probably just see as a kind of a little bit of a convenience here and there, something that's kind of helpful when you're driving, it is a must, a necessity for a lot of people. It's literally the only way that a lot of people in our community can use a computer, can use a smartphone, can use an ATM, can vote at elections. I mean, it's, it's literally how we interact with most digital text. So you can understand why it's crazy important <laughs> and important that devices have it available for us. And so you might also understand why it's so important that it's on this camera now. I can't tell you how difficult it is to read a tiny little menu on this tiny little LCD screen. In fact, many of us can't. Uh, many people in the community just, there's no way they could use a camera like this because they can't see that menu. Now, I am very fortunate that with strong enough magnifiers, I have been able to read menus on cameras, but as my vision loss progresses, it's getting harder and harder. So I can't tell you once again how excited I was when I saw that Sony had put a screen reader into this camera. Quickly, let's take a look at the screen reader. I'll show it to you in action and show you how it works. Kind of, a little bit of a caveat. We'll come back and talk about that here in a minute. All right, I have my camera connected via HDMI to a large 32 inch monitor. This allows me to see the menu much, much easier. The Sony a7 IV is using the new updated menu system, but unfortunately with that new menu comes smaller text size. The previous menu, the older menu style had larger text, which meant it was easier to read on the back of the camera using my magnifier. But this new menu has smaller text, so it's much more difficult for me to see. Uh, thus, I put it onto this large, 32 inch monitor either way uh, we're going to go down to the setup tab down here at the bottom and we're going to go over and we want to go down to accessibility which is number six and click OK on that now we see our screen reader we're gonna click OK onto that as well we have a couple options here we can turn the screen reader on and off we have the speed of the voice and we have the volume of the voice. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna click OK, and then we're gonna to go to On. Menu screen, setup tab, accessibility group, screen reader, screen reader, on, button, delete button display guide, menu button back. Now, <laughs> it is turned on, and hopefully you guys could hear that. Um, she gives us a lot of information. And to just the novice out there, the novice screen reader user, 
that might be annoying, all of that information. But those of us who rely on screen readers, that was fantastic. She told us all of the important information on the screen that we need to know. All right, if I go down here. Speed, standard, button, delete button, display guide, menu button back. I can adjust the speed. Selected, fast one, unselected. Fast four, that's the fastest it will go. And believe it or not, there are some diehard users that will use it that fast and be perfectly fine with it. That's a little fast for me. Accessibility group, screen setup tab. Accessibility group, screen reader setup tab. Accessibility group, button, rear dial page change, menu button close. So once again, all of that information, super helpful. Now, this is truly fantastic. We've got a screen reader. But here is where we get to the disappointment. If I navigate up, it just beeps. Uh, so the obviously the screen reader is not complete. Um, out of this menu system that has like 30 or so options here, it only reads about two or three. The other thing is if we get out of the menu here, this is a non-readout target, which means it won't read anything on the screen. Even if I bring up the quick menu here, all of my saved options, it doesn't read any of this. So clearly it's not working everywhere. Um, some places that it works though, if we go into our playback. Playback screen, movie, C, zero, two, six, zero, April 20th, 2022. 8:28:36 a.m. Control wheel down volume setting. Image index button display image index screen. Playback. Left key fast rewind right key fast forward. Down key display control panel. Menu button back. Pause. Down key display control panel. Menu button back. So this is great. I mean this information is super helpful for us if we can't see all that information displayed at the bottom there she will tell us that information, which is fantastic. Guys, before the screen reader, I didn't even know that I could grab a still image from the playback. I didn't even know that was possible. So the screen reader is super helpful. They just need to finish it up. And they are, they are working on it. So as you can see, incredible that Sony has put this into the camera. Definitely still needs some work. Uh, now I have spoken with the team over at Sony and they assure me that they are going to continue updating the screen reader. This is just the beginning. Even though it wasn't fully fleshed out, they, they wanted to get it going and get it on the camera and they were going to continue the progress on it. So I am so excited to see it grow in the future. And I know I'm not the only one. Uh, I personally have lots of friends in the BVI community that want to create amazing content, both on social media and other platforms. I've got several friends with low vision that actually went to film school and it's their dream to create fully fledged films. And finally, we're starting to get access to the tools that will allow us to do that. That's all we want, guys. That's all we're looking for. Access to the simple tools that everybody else gets to use. We want to be able to use those too. So that's why I say this is a game changer for our community. This is definitely a milestone. A huge thank you to Sony for putting this in their camera. They have definitely changed the game and raised the bar for other camera manufacturers out there. Now, the screen reader isn't the only accessibility built into the new Sony a7 IV. In fact, I'm gonna do a video dedicated to talking about all the different ways that this camera is accessible and all of the features that allow someone like myself with low vision the ability to use this camera. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm also gonna do a follow-up video talking about what I would love to see in a future update or the next generation of cameras in the Sony line. It's gonna be kind of my wish list to Sony of what I, 
as a disabled content creator would love to see in their cameras. So definitely stay tuned for that, guys. A huge thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. Definitely helps out my channel. And feel free to share it. Share it with Sony. <laughs> I want them to know how appreciative I am and how all of us in the blind and visually impaired community are to them for thinking about us and officially adding in some accessibility. But that's it guys, as always, this is Sam with The Blind Life. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.